New details here this evening. Two people have now been charged with the brutal killings of four family members. This is a cold case we have followed extensively here at Fox Carolina News. The Anderson County Sheriff's Office announcing just hours ago the arrests of husband and wife Ross Velarde and Amy Velarde. They are both charged with four counts of murder. On your screen, pictures of the four victims. You can see them all there. Mike Scott and his wife Kathy, Kathy's mom, Violet Taylor, and Mike's mom, Barbara Scott. Suspect Amy Velarde is Kathy's daughter and Violet's granddaughter. Now, the family was found dead in their home on Refuge Road in Pendleton in 2015. Our very own Brooklyn Cromer has stayed on top of the story for years. So, Brooklyn, this coming to a head today with these arrests, have you been able to speak with the family about how they're handling this news today? Justin, I haven't been able to speak with them just yet, but I do know just from the many times I've talked to them over the years that for eight years they have fought for justice. They've prayed for answers, but they tell me they always knew this day would eventually come. Now, well, back in 2015 on Halloween, four family members were found dead inside their home on Refuge Road in Pendleton. Investigators believe they had been dead for several days since Halloween candy was still sitting in a bowl by the front door. Amy and Ross Velarde lived in a home on that same property. The sheriff says Amy Velarde discovered the bodies and actually made the first call to 911. There was no sign of forced entry to the home, but a safe normally filled with cash was empty. And we asked the sheriff about the motive. He said they can't they now know, but they couldn't discuss it until it goes to trial. Lots of work, lots of man hours. These guys Especially, you know, we've had uh, we've had some others involved here at the sheriff's office that have worked very hard on this case, uh, including crime scene, you know, forensic techs and investigators. It's a huge case for our county and for the citizens of this county. It's just, uh, like I said, it, it rocked everybody to the core, and it, it was it's a scary case. It was brutal murders. The sheriff says this was a team effort with all of the investigators working together to make the arrest. The attorney general's office is also part partnering with the sheriff's office to help when this case goes to trial. And the Velardes were arrested earlier today at their home in Columbia, and they're expected to go before a bond judge tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Anderson County, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.